what is going on folks welcome back to the channel checking out a different Walmart store and there is no basketball no football I mean there is some football but they got the uh, ball cart mega box and blaster shitload of baseball here got a mess of blaster look at that there's the mosaic Of course, they got the Prism, they got the Archives, only one Archives. This must be the one has the big hit. You know what they say about the, the uh, last pack, the last blaster or whatever? I mean, they got pretty much every baseball uh, series here. Chronicles, regular tops, Optic, Archives, Mosaic. <laughs> they even got the hangers, a whole bunch of them. And a whole bunch of these. The only problem with these blasters, they're only uh, 10 carts in here. It's pretty bad, huh? For 10 carts? What's that? It's only bad for 10 carts because it's that's a lot. $30? Would you pay $30 for 10 carts? No, I see? would. But... See, the guy here next to me, he, he doesn't agree either. I mean, that is crazy. Oh my gosh. It's like somebody here actually stole a Pokemon binder. <laughs> I mean, who does this, folks? Seriously. Like, how thirsty do you have to be just to get this? I have no clue how much they are. What, forty-two ninety-two? Is that how much they are? That's why they stole it. Jeez. Okay, that right there. That price is robbery, folks. I don't know. I mean, if there's carts inside, cool. But it's just a binder. Why? Why is it forty-two ninety-two? So I'm assuming what was in this actually uh, in this pack must have been just uh, this one here for $54.92. Still a lot of money, folks. I would never pay that much for that. I've never seen this Digimon box. It's a gift box. It's what it all contains in the box. Pretty cool. You know, one thing I'm going to say here right right now, folks, is I have never seen a Walmart or a Target that does not have any magic or hardly any, <laughs> any magic. This one only has like these three little boxes right here, and that's it. That's crazy. So one thing I haven't done in quite a while is uh, look into, you know, like, behind boxes and more like towards like where all the clutter is because a lot of people like to hide stuff um, behind uh, the boxes here for example here I know I found a couple a pack or two stuff here got nothing there uh-huh found an open tin well not really open but Someone had uh, taken out all the carts. Nothing behind there. So I was just going through this aisle and found this open blaster of Flux. Dang, that is crazy, folks. And this is the same store that locked up all those carts behind the glass. Um, I want to say a couple of months ago. I don't know, like maybe three, four months ago. I mean, it's probably been more than that, but, uh, yeah, that was the main reason why they did it. They told me it's because of theft problems and all that stuff, but, uh, you know, putting stuff back in the shelf, this is what's going to happen. What a shame. We found some ATVs. It looks like, uh, just one ATV box. All gone. I don't see any remnants of, uh, the packs, the flux or anything. Or any cards, any loose cards. I mean, I do see the wrapper. There's the wrapper right there. Um, but I don't see like the wrappers and stuff. You know, like with cards. So I'm assuming they uh, must have taken all of those. Check it out a Mega Box Evolutions. Just sitting right here. I'm assuming that whoever took the cards, you know, the flux ones, they must have um, attempted to actually take this one. 
but instead it just left it there. You guys used to keep on behind the glass. What happened? Yeah, I don't know why they... They left the wrapper right there, too. See the wrapper? I was trying to see if... Yeah, um, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's some Pokemon as well. Like, they empty some Pokemon boxes. They're up there, I think, behind those. Like, the the pink. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Like, uh, yeah, I, I know, I know they that... They used to put them in the cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, because if they're just like sitting over there, yeah. people are just going to find a way. Like what they probably, they probably attempt to do the same thing with that yeah, one. Yeah, maybe someone would have came and they stopped it. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. All right, so I placed the Lonely Box Evolutions back to where it belongs. <laughs> I'm not even getting paint shit from Walmart. And I'm doing their job. It's crazy. Come on, Walmart. You got to step it up. Hmm, it's hard to think. What if they're running uh, some sort of internal theft ring in their store? Because I've heard, I mean, I heard rumors, folks, that some of the workers here open the boxes up, buy the products. And, I mean, that was like a year ago. I don't know, they're still doing it. I'm just saying. I mean, this store, compared to the other one, uh, seems like uh, all the stuff is gone, pretty much. Like all the basketball, football. And the other one is still sitting over there. And don't say it's because it's behind the counter. I mean, even at the front of the store, behind the counter, there's no limit there. I don't think they have a limit anymore, so. I don't know. Just a theory. What is happening, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Alright, so I'm back from the Walmart. And as you guys can see, I don't have nothing that I actually got this this week because it's just been really odd this week uh, they really didn't drop anything I'm assuming um, I went to two different stores uh, the first one you know guys seen in the video in the intro that very first store uh, I was actually just gonna go there um, and um, as you guys seen I mean they had pretty much a lot of baseball a lot of baseball some football but it was a wild card football I don't do any of that stuff and they even, I mean, they hardly had magic, which is unbelievable. And uh, the rest was just like, you know, some Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, I believe. Uh, not much in that store. And um, also I walked around the aisles, you know, just checking to see if there's any hidden stuff. I found some hidden stuff in the past in that store. Um, you got to see in the box of Flux. Somebody had actually stolen all the cards. Uh, I, I don't know what's up with that store, to be honest. Uh, they actually had everything behind the case for couple months I remember like for two months I believe everything was behind the glass uh, next thing you know everything's back on the shelf I guess they thought everything was like the bullshit was finally over you know what I mean but um, it's not over yet folks I mean apparently uh, with that store I don't know people are just stealing carts I don't know people are just uh, I don't know I've been told that the employees are actually buying a lot of the carts you know some of the people who work there who knows what's going on but it's really bizarre. You would think that at least it would have some, um, I don't know, some draft basketball or some, you know, some stuff that is just at the other stores. Um, no, no, not even Chronicles box. Um, uh, Chronicles, Illusions, you know, some of the stuff. I mean, the only Illusions was just at Mega Box. That's it. Just really bizarre. Um, I'm gonna open some of these packs. I'm not trying to spend a lot of time here chit chatting. But, um,. Yeah, it's really bizarre. Um, I don't know. So, uh, one of the workers told me that um, supposedly, you know, that uh, the vendor, like, uh, you know, the, the store, you know, the vendor for the trading cards actually uh, took a lot of the old stuff. So I don't know if, you know, that included like the old baseball, like Bowman, Platinum, and all that stuff, because I know that stuff was pretty old. And um, pretty interesting picture of Toker Glue right there. Dang, I forgot he actually bleached his hair. Pretty interesting. Um, so, yeah, what I was going to say is that the, um, the vendor told me, yeah, like, they actually came in here and took some of the cards. So, I don't know if they're actually going to, uh, on the ground. <laughs> uh, they're actually going to take them back or, you know, use them for, like, 
MG holding boxes, like those uh, repack boxes. Who knows what they're going to do. Uh, maybe they're going to, I don't know, maybe set a new price for them. Who knows? Steve Francis, Triple Crown. Pretty nice car. Like the foil on that. After that store, I actually went to the um, to the Lucky Walmart, the one I usually go to, and they really didn't have anything. Not even the front. I mean, the front was pretty much the same stuff from last week. Uh, all, of course, all the soccer was gone. Uh, most of the illusions packs, basketball illusions, uh, were all gone. Um, I don't know, just. Not a lot of stuff there, so I'm thinking maybe they haven't restocked. Who knows? But, um... Maybe they're gonna skip it this week. I don't know, no idea. Alright, got a rookie of Trevor Ruffin. Clyde the Glide to a reporter. Any Ainge, Cray, and we've got a Mike Conley, first year Mosaic, Iguodala, look at that, young Iguodala, what year is this from, 6-7, top's finest, pretty cool, we got a Josh Childress, pristine tops, Numbered 739, so 40 out of 739. And we got a Othello Harrington. Part of the 96 draft. You guys don't remember him? I'm sure a lot of people don't remember this guy. Alright. And this card. Do the uh, this one, Saving Lee. Saving Lee, I could have sworn I thought he was um, back with the Pistons. Um, I think I heard he was back in the uh, in the G League. Red rookie. We got Mickey Blaylock. Lonnie Baxter. Carlos Arroyo, Mo Cheeks, Carmelo Anthony, the Rockets. Had a pretty good game with the Lakers last night. Was it last night? Yeah, pretty sure it was last night. Tony Battle. Alright, pretty cool. Look at that. Awesome. The old squat. There's Steve back right there. It's a pretty good card. I don't have this card, so happy to add that to the PC. Josh Smith. There's the key. We've got a rookie card of Michael Finley. Finley. Michael um, Pietras, I believe. Pietras. I don't think he's playing basketball anymore. If he is, it's probably overseas. We've got a rated point guard. Angel Wagner. Nice. Pretty cool insert. It's got that little um kinda like a movie poster. <laughs> Yada. Lone, Coleman, a Jason Kidd, and Gary Trent Sr. I think I got his, uh, his son's autograph. Second year auto, I want to say, from um, NBA Hoops. So, alright, next one. And I'll be opening the one with D Wayne. <laughs> Second year D Wayne. I think I got like three of those already. Never hurts to get another one, right? 
Second year D Way, there we go. SP Anthanthic. Actually, it's a third year. Never mind, I take it back. Why did I think that was the second year? Come on now. Trey Lyles. Shumpert. Robert Parrish. Harvey Grant. Mike Dunleavy. Greg Anthony. Top's Finest. I think this was like the very first year of Top's Finest. Pretty cool. Baron Davis. Bent to second year. Another Mike Dunleavy. Eddie in the house. There we go. This is out of uh, what tops expectations, I believe. Whoa, Tony Adam, ninety-nine. I was thinking this probably this is like something that would have been like a out of three thousand or you know like some crazy number. I don't know if it's tops ten or expectations. I forget the name of the set, but yeah, they're usually. <laughs> Really thick hearts. Didn't Eddie House uh, won a championship with the Celtics? And then he retired, I think. I don't know where this is. Players Century. Pretty cool, nice little foil cart. Turbo Rozier. You got a green parallel. JJ Raddick and a Dennis Hobson. Okay, last pack. Actually, going to um, open some 2020 football instead of this, you know, today. But um, I don't want to jinx it. I know there's been a lot of people opening that stuff, you know, hunting Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow rookie cards. But just, you know, being a Rams guy, I don't want to jinx the game. I'm kind of superstitious, but. Anyway, here we go for nice Dirk. Ronnie White, let's see what else we got. Zach Randolph, Eddie Griffin, Mike Bibby, Michael Rats. I think this is the uh, hobby version. I know they had like a Retail version, which uh, was like a kind of like a yellowish fever. I don't know, weird color. <laughs> Miss Canner, Rex Chapman, 21st Century NBA, Grand Hill. It's a sweet card. Julius Rando, certify. Inspirations. Yeah, so this is uh, the one set from Upper Deck. Yeah, they have cards number to like 3,000. That's crazy. I mean, close enough. And a world premiere, Mike Bibby. Pretty cool card. Is that a rookie? I forgot what year he was drafted. Usually the world premiere, I think there were actually rookies. And the uh, later years of uh, Fleer. So, pretty cool. And Joe Klein. So that is going to do, folks. That's going to wrap it up. Always happy to open this product. And um, yeah, you don't see this every day. Not a lot of people actually break the stuff. Uh, there's not many videos out there, folks. Trust me that um, you're going to see people breaking a lot of old cards, you know, just opening whatever. Um, old school basketball, vintage, all that stuff. Uh, I think vintage, actually, it's more, be a little more difficult to do it on a, not a daily basis, but more, more often, I guess. But this right here, pretty nice. Pretty good names, good cards, 
and for the PC, some number cards, and a really young Iguodala. And that is all, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you until the next one. Take it easy, folks. Thanks for watching.